Hello guys, in today's video we are going through a list of 5 Visual Studio Code extensions that are not that common, but I will keep using them in 2024, so stay tuned. So the first on the list is Codium AI. As the past year was full of AI tools, this one is really really helpful because it does some things that could be sometimes, if not always, a boring work for us developers. It actually writes uh, code tests for us. So it is great for unit testing our code. So how it works, uh, you just have to install this extension. Then after installing it, just close it and open some of your projects. In my case, I have a next project installed here. So uh, I'm gonna run this, uh, well, I'll open this products uh, a component here and then after installing the uh, extension, you just have to uh, sign in with your GitHub account to be able to work with it. Okay. And uh, you just have to press this here. Does this function, for example, if you're in, in some code here. So this extension is actually opening and uh, we have a configuration here. I'll show it here. So we have a configuration in my opinion, actually in my case uh, here, uh, I'm using just and I'm also using a uh, testing library for react so uh, it, This uh, this uh, configuration depends on your project here. So be aware of that also uh, Instead of setting it like this uh, you can create a codium dot codium uh, AI that local uh, file and into that you can just put your framework utility library and uh, also you have to put uh, uh, this uh, or write test transcript that will actually run your uh, tests and use this file here. So uh, this configuration is also available on the website of, of uh, Codium AI, so you can easily find paste it here and just uncomment the lines that you actually have to uncomment and use. So uh, let's see what we have here. After uh, I press this uh, test this function here. Uh, this uh, window opened here and we see here test suits that we have six and it's because we have uh, selected that we need uh, six of tests here so uh, we can see that uh, this extension actually this AI tool generated these tests for us so the first test says uh, it should render a table with product names and prices for example I have here uh, some table with the products uh, and, uh, and the prices here like uh, invoices and products so uh, this test is testing these uh, uh, this table here and also it is creating uh, more uh, tests here so you just have to click run all these tests and some of them will pass some of them will fail or uh, depends on the test so uh, it's not a problem if they fail also, we just have to check uh, the uh, extension and the configuration what actually happened there. So uh, we can see uh, that this failed and it says why it failed. So some some issues with the configuration, but what we can do is uh, we can just click fix test and run it again. So uh, run an auto fix and it should uh, fix it. but depends on, on the on the case what's going on there so uh, yeah we can go uh, ne uh, to the next test so we can actually use this uh, and it, it really depends on your file and, uh, and the testing per testing but uh, the, the most important thing is for me in this case is that uh, it tells me what should be tested here so if you have no idea what should you test uh, uh, in your file and uh, which scenarios you, you should use it this is this is really useful for example we have a here like this one I should display the invoice title as a table header and this is, uh, this past for example uh, we have more of these and some of them uh, are failing maybe because uh, they're correct they, they should fail because uh, maybe the configuration is not uh, clear at, or the code is not uh, uh, properly written written here so uh, anyway we can click uh, on any of these fix test and it is trying to fix the test to be like uh, to, to 
to be fixed uh, and uh, available here that so uh, we can analyze it so uh this is it maybe when it comes to this uh this extension and i hope uh, you'll find it useful because it is really useful so just let, let you check if it have if it, yeah it's failing for now so uh, most of these uh tests also uh, are based on your configuration and depending on your file maybe we could just uh, try to test another file here so like invoice maybe some smaller uh smaller components or smaller parts of the code then we can check uh is it going uh, as planned so what we have like for a small uh, component here we have a uh, uh six tests and we can also extend this uh number of tests so you can see here so that's the first one uh Best, second one failed and so on so on so uh, we can ask for more tests here so give me more tests and it will generate other tests and other cases and also an interesting thing is here that uh, it says that uh, some of these tests are edge case for example so this is heavy path and uh, this edge uh, edge case for example it says uh, I should render the invoice component with an empty list of products so if there is nothing it should be just like empty list or uh it should render the invoice component with a single product if there is just single and so on and so on so uh overall this is really interesting extension and i recommend it so uh the next extension on my list is called bookmarks so this is the extension and let me close okay uh, here so the bookmarks extension what does this extension do uh, this is extension actually for uh, doing some things that uh, I was doing uh, really really uh, in a different ma in a different way uh, previously for example if I have a file with uh, a lot of lines of code or anything doesn't matter but if I want to, to uh, stop and to bookmark something I would rather do this like by just adding these breakpoints here and uh, knowing uh, when I'm scrolling up and or down that uh, there is something inside of this. So, for example, if there is uh, something uh, bigger, uh, like this one file, this, this is a bit bigger. So, if I go there, I'll just add like breakpoint and scroll up and scroll down to find it. But uh, this extension, bookmarks, is actually what is was the title is. Uh, it is actually a bookmarking. Uh, our code so uh, it's really easy to use you just have to go here and uh, right click on it and you just have to say add bookmark so there are two options here add bookmark the first one is actually that will just add a bookmark now we have uh, we have uh, this extension here on the left side then uh, when we click on it it will open explorer here which is really nice and it says okay we have here a bookmark so uh, if there is a bookmark like this one that we added, it will automatically add a title here that is actually the line of code what is it, uh, which which was uh, there when we clicked on it. So uh, another option is uh, to go here and to cl right click and add labeled bookmark. When we click on it, it will uh, prompt uh, it will open a prompt to uh, just add a label for it. For example, we have a footer here. Okay, and hit enter and now we we can see two uh, bookmarks here so in explorer here also we can see the footer and uh, we can see this uh, dynamically generated title but we can also uh, change it to something here okay and we can see it also we can uh, remove this bookmark here we can add as many as we want and also we can go uh, through the files for example and we can here, here add like current price okay and now in the explorer we can see uh, these bookmarks here across all our files uh, in the project so this is a really useful extension and also we can remove them all at once here so when this was a bookmarks extension you can find it here install it and it has more than 3 million installs the next one on the list is uh, thunder client so let me find it. 
So this is this one, the purple one. So it also has more than 3 million installs here. So what is Thunder Client? Uh, Thunder Client is a simple REST API client extension designed for Visual Studio Code. So think about this as a postman for Visual Studio Code. So I use it like that because uh, I don't really want to go outside of the Visual Studio Code and switch between different applications, especially if I'm creating uh, uh, APIs or dealing with APIs. So uh, the extension is really interesting and useful and really simple. So I'll close everything here. And then uh, when I click on the Thunder client here, uh, it appears like this. So we can uh, add anything, new requests or anything. So I have added from uh, JSON play, placeholder uh, here, uh, like a list of to-dos. So we can send this request and we can see a response here. So you can see headers, cookies, everything we need, like just in the postman. We can also create a post, put, delete, patch or all uh, uh, operations here. And also we can add body, header authorization or anything we can do uh, really in in a postman even a collections and environment files so and this is this is uh, something that is also interesting to me and it's it's kind of unusual extension actually so uh mm, this was uh, like uh, uh this was my uh extension for postman so uh another one here is a uh, paste JSON as code. So uh, what is interesting about this extension? So this is the extension. You can see it like here. And this has over 2 million installs. So uh, what is this extension doing actually? Uh, this is uh, useful, especially if you're coding in TypeScript or any other programming language that supports and works with types. So uh, what am I doing with this? Uh, for example, I'll open the standard client and I'll get the list of to-dos here. And for example, I'll open my product types here. So now uh, we can uh, like uh, open, a, we can open our uh, command palette, Control shift p or Command shift p depends on your system. And we can say, just paste, paste JSON as code. We can see here as code uh, and we have other options here uh, but also there's a shortcut Control shift v or command shift p depending on your system and it will uh, pr uh open a prompt here to ask you for your uh a top level name for this let's say interface in my case so uh, i'll just uh, add it as to do hit enter and as you can see it creates interface exports it and add all these uh, uh, key uh, keys from JSON and also their types here. So uh, for this small one, it doesn't look like a big deal. But uh, if you have more the uh, more complex scheme here, then uh, it is going to be a better option. So it will generate uh, additional uh, interfaces and uh, uh, create uh, create another uh, other interfaces here. Uh, for this uh, uh, JSON and or object that you pasted here, so uh, this is also interesting and useful for me because I'm uh, doing it mostly in uh, TypeScript. So, and also there's another one on my list. Uh, it's called Quokka. Sorry. Okay, Quokka JS this one here so this has almost 3 million installs and this is uh it serves as my go to javascript playground actually i use it extensively for testing functions writing and pro prototyping code it's easy to use and it delivers excellent results so how to use this quokka Control shift p or command shift p and then you can just uh, type a new JavaScript file or new TypeScript file depends on the, on, on the type what you want actually to do. So new TypeScript file, and then we can uh, say okay, okay, I call something, and then we can see the 
the result a result here and we can create a function const some numbers okay here okay this is really simple but uh, we can do it like this I call it some numbers two and you can see we can uh, see the result here and also we have output here so you can see in the output that it is also telling us what is it doing so we can also remove these by uh, clicking escape we can remove uh, these uh, 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 these actually uh, looks next to the file next to the lines of the one so there's an other option also in the configuration to configure where where should it uh, show it maybe just for for calling the functions or uh, console log or anything I like that so um, the same one goes for JS and uh, uh, as in TypeScript. So now uh, this is uh, useful for me because the, most of the time I'm testing some functions or uh, prototyping something, uh, for example, and uh, it's easier to do it like this uh, instead of just logging things or going uh, online and try another uh, 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 platforms for uh, testing and prototyping. So I'm just free to open this coca and just start typing in javascript and see the results next to my uh, code so this is it when it comes uh, to these extensions actually th that i call them uh, unusual extensions and uh, if you like the video please like uh, subscribe to my channel and share the video thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye